the Cox-Ross and Rubinstein option pricing model enables to calculate a call premium, including the time premium, based on the intrinsic value of an option on expiration date. Let's assume that the spot price of the underlying asset, S, can either increase and then we have an upward move, U, and then the spot price of the underlying asset becomes US, or decrease, and then we have a downward move, and then the new spot price of the underlying asset is D times S. If the spot price of the underlying asset is increasing, then the call premium is also increasing. If the spot price of the underlying asset is decreasing, then the call premium is also decreasing. We suppose that the time to expiration of the option is divided into n under periods. And at each period, we have this evolution of the spot price, either increase, either upward move or decrease, downward move. To do that, we need to start with the calculation of U and D. We base our example on a sample of assumptions, which would be taken into account in order to use the Black and Scholes option pricing model. We suppose that the spot price of the underlying asset is 120, the strike price is 100, the risk free rate is 1%, the volatility of the underlying asset is 40%, and the time to expiration necessarily expressed in years is 0.25 year, which means three months. And we decide here to divide the time between the valuation date and the expiration date or the maturity date of the option into 10 periods. According to Cox-Ross and Rubinstein, U, the upward move, is exponential of sigma squared root of tau over n, which means here that we have exponential of sigma 40% times squared root of tau, which is 0 0.25, over n, which is 10. For d, the downward move, it is simply the reverse of u. So 1 over 1.07, which is equal to 0 0.94. For p, p is the probability of an upward move at any period of time. If you read the seminal paper of Cox-Ross and Rubinstein, you will read that P is equal to R with a hat less D over U less D. And R with a hat is defined as 1 plus R. But this assumes that the length of a period is equal to one year. It's not the case here. I mean that, firstly, the time to expiration is in 0.25 year, and each period will be equal to 0.25 over 10. This is why the R with a hat, from a practical point of view, is 1 plus R in the power 2 over n. 2 over n being the length of a small period. So here, P is equal to 1 plus R, 1 plus R, 1 plus 1 percent, power 2 over N, 0 0.25 over 10, uh, less D, so less 0 0.94, over U less D, which means 1.07 less 0 0.94. And we have 49%. Then 1 less p is, of course, 1 less 49%, which is necessarily 51%.
based on this set of information, we can uh, develop the evolution of the spot price of the underlying asset. If today it is 120, if there is an upward move, 120 will become 120 times U, which is 1.07. It's a fixed reference, so dollars, which means F4 if you are on a PC, and common T on a Mac. And of course, I can extend that on the right and on the top. Of course, we can have also a downward move. If we have a downward move, 120 becomes 120 times D, which is 0 0.94, which is again a fixed reference. And of course, this can be extended on the right and also on the bottom. We can see, based on the figures we've obtained, that if we systematically have an upward move for 10 under periods, 120 will be increased to 226. If we have systematically downward moves, 120 will be reduced to 64. For the sake of presentation, and there would be no impact on calculations, I'm getting rid of the zeros, which are above the triangles uh, we are currently building. We can do the same if there is uh, a series of down one moves. And uh, of course, we can also combine up one moves and down one moves. This is what I'm going to enter in the coming seconds. Let's imagine that we are now here. If we are now here, 128 is supposed to decrease, so I multiply 128 by the downward move, namely by 0 0.94, which is also a fixed reference, and we are not surprised to see that we get again 120, because we've had an upward move and a downward move, which means that S has successively been multiplied by U and D, which means by U and by 1 over U. And we can extend till the end, and then we have all the possibilities for all the under periods, the 10 under periods we've taken into account. The last column is the end of the last under period, which corresponds to the expiration date of the option. And on expiration date, the call premium does not include any time premium anymore. It's only the intrinsic value. And we know that the intrinsic value for a call is the max between zero and the difference between the spot price of the underlying asset, let's say 226 on the top of the triangle, less the strike price, which is definitively a 100, which is then a fixed reference. And of course, I can extend this formula on the bottom. And of course, uh, now we are going to come back in times. And we know that according to Cox Ross and Rubinstein, the call premium is supposed to be at each time 1 over R with a hat times PCU plus 1 less PCD, which means that the call premium is the present value of the expected value of the call premium on the next date, at the end of the next under period. But we have already explained that R with a hat is not R1 plus R, but 1 plus R in the power 2 over N. This is what I'm going to calculate from now on. Here, for example, I have 1 over 1 plus R, R being the risk-free weight, 1%, which is a fixed reference, power 2 over N, so to 0 0.25 over n 10, to over n being fixed references, and then I multiplied by p 
which is 49% fixed reference times CU 126 plus 1SP 51% times CD 99. And we have 112. Of course, we can extend that on the bottom. And of course, we can go back in times, uh, probably been uh, uh, too far, okay, because C is supposed to be there. And of course, I only have now to create the customary triangles, firstly on the top. And this time, whenever I'm getting rid of unuseful figures, there is an impact on the other figures. And then I'm going to get rid of what's below in order to have a perfect triangle. As you can see. And the model will be definitively built and uh, here we have the call premium we can put some figures after the point and we can see that based on this approach the call premium is 22.44